G'day and welcome back. I'm Respected Journalist. Now, you've probably heard in the news about a new water park policy coming to the NT. Here to tell us all about it and joining me in the studio is NT Government. NT, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. NT, what can you tell us about this new water park policy? Not uh, so much a water park, uh, so much as a water plane policy. Oh, thought I was really looking forward to having a new water park. All right, so what can you tell us about this plane then? It goes on water. No. It's a water plane, a flood plane. Uh, basically, we're just looking at a few special rules uh, what's, for... Uh, what's wrong with your eye? A few special rules uh, for everyday territorians to access the hundreds of thousands of megalitres of water they need. I barely get through eight glasses a day. Well, all the more for big cotton or, or whoever. Other farmers, you know, might... So this uh, floodplain harvesting... No, who said that? No, we d- we're, we're not calling it that. Right, but it's taking the excess water from the wet season and uh, your harvesting? Yes. Yep. But it's not floodplain harvesting? No. Uh, what do you call it then? Surface water take wet season flows. Rolls right off the tongue. So, uh, sustainable? Yes. It's, oh, are you talking about my keep cup? N- no, the floodplain harvesting. It, surface, water, uh, take, take wet season. Wet season flows. flows. Yes, is that sustainable? Look, we'd quietly send in a couple of work crews to quietly pump and scoop out a couple of tens of thousands of megalitres of water and quietly drain some of the water that forms vital habitats for wildlife, quietly. It seems like the Murray Darling Basin fiasco 2.0. No, couldn't be further from it. What's the difference? (laughs) Well, that was in the Murray Darling Basin and this would be in the NT. Has there been sufficient consultation with Aboriginal elders and traditional owners? I'm sorry, are you still asking about the Keep Cup? No, about the floodplain harvesting. Surface water take wet season take wet flows. season flows. <laughs> I uh, don't think you'd need to consult about a keep cup. <laughs> Territory tourism operators, fishers, uh, the wildlife and animals themselves all seem like they will be greatly impacted. Who stands to actually benefit from this policy? All, it's uh, everyone. So everyone that has an interest in or owns part of or all of a giant cotton industry. So everyone. So just to confirm, we won't be getting a new water park. No. Mm. Anti-government, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.